Hi. Hi guys. I hope that you can see Alex. I'm going to move him. I don't think you can. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. There he is. This is the toddler I was unboxing the other night. I don't have the unboxing video up yet. And he went through his ritual wash. I'm a lunatic with washing dolls when I get them. So his hair comes off. I wash that. I wash him up with a variety of things. Um, wash all of his clothing. And so I dressed him up. I'm in my other house for like another 10 days before we move back to our main house. So I don't have many clothes here and I'm really embarrassed because five kids, I have four boys and this is the closest fit I could come to him. And this is 24 months on the Oshkosh short all, but the shirt is rather big. So he's going to have to tough it out until we get home and get into our entire stash of clothing and find something that fits. I have his original outfit and stuff and that's going towards the wash. So we don't have that to use, but He's adorable, and he is the American version of my Oliver, which is Felix. And I don't, I don't know, Felix may, uh, Oliver, I don't call him Felix. Oliver may have one talking video on here. I have to do another detail, and I'm going to do one of them together, because they are the same except for the coloring. Alex has blonde hair and really pretty blue eyes. And um, you can take a modified passy. And do you want to show everybody what you like without your passy? Okay, and he's got similar looks, I think, with the mouth and everything to Kristen, who I call Christina. And, of course, to his brother, Felix Oliver. He's absolutely adorable. He's very, very soft, extremely soft. And he's got a full shoulder plate. I will upload the unboxing video, so I'm not going to go through all of his details because I had it completely undressed in the unboxing video, and it's just kind of long, so I have to go through and get it uploaded and everything. I'm just crazed because we're moving back to our other house in a few days, and there's so much to be done, so I'm a little bit nutty. But he's got beautiful blushing on his legs, and he, he is just absolutely adorable, and I'm so glad that Oliver has a little toddler brother, especially a fraternal twin toddler brother, because... He had nobody. You know, he was in a sea of girls here. So he is just absolutely adorable. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of him and um, let you see him. I'm going to upload pictures on the, if you're on Facebook, it's Master Masterpiece Doll Collectors. That's where I upload all my photos. I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of photos of my dolls on there. That's the only group that I post them to. So if you're a fan of Masterpiece Artist Dolls, please join that group. Just request to join and, you know, you'll be let in. Masterpiece Artist, Master, I'm trying to think because we've changed it. Masterpiece, because it's Masterpiece First, Artist Doll Collectors. You'll see. Um that Linda, there's the, one of the admins is Linda. Okay, that, then you're in the right group. There's only two, Linda. So that's the right group. Masterpiece Artist Dot Collectors. <laughs> that's good, right? I've only had the group for a while. But I upload all my photos there and only there. I don't go in all the different Masterpiece groups. I do go in the different Masterpiece groups and look but I don't upload pictures to any of the other groups. The only time I will upload a picture is if somebody in another group asks for something or, you know, but it's sporadic. I upload all of my photos to the Masterpiece Artist Doll Collectors group on Facebook. So check that group out if you're interested in Masterpiece Dolls because we have tons and tons of photos because not only I do it, our members do it and they take great photos. So. This is Alex, and I think I'm going to keep his name like that. Um, I actually have one son with the middle name Alexander, and my daughter is Alexandra. But I do not call my daughter Alex. I do not like that name for a girl. Daughter is Alexandra, so um, Alex seems to fit him, and um, I'm keeping him Alex. So we'll have Alex and Oliver, my fraternal twins, 
And Alex has got a, his lemur and he's been playing with his rocket stack and you can see those pictures of that again in that Facebook group. But thank you for watching and if you have any questions just put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Just understand that I'm a little crazed right now because I am moving and um, things are crazy. But he has teddy bear jointed legs. He has full vinyl arms. I will try to get that unboxing video up as quickly as I can. Let me just show you another angle with his face. He's absolutely adorable. He's absolutely adorable. Um, and then, yes, I haven't taken a modified passy, and I can put that in. And he's... Super cute. Super cute. So, thanks for watching, guys. Monica Peter Light. Did I tell you that? Almost all of my toddlers are done by Monica Peter Light. I only have three that are not. Holly, Ginger, and Emily. All of my other sitting toddlers are all Monica Peter Light. And it, the exact opposite is very funny. It's for my full vinyl dolls, my 29, I only have three 29. I don't really like the 29 inch size. I don't, I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of them because I think the proportions are off. And I think they look more like a trumped up American girl. They just don't look, I don't know. They, they look good in pictures. That's the, their one saving grace that I still have my three because they do look good in pictures. But in person to me, they don't have the right proportions for a child of that size. So I really, I'm so stuck on the toddlers. I really don't buy the full vinyl anymore, but I also only go up to 39 inches because I think the 44 inches and above, they lose that babyish, you know, I, I don't want preteen dolls, okay? Um, teenagers or tweens are hard enough. I have five kids. I don't want preteen or tween dolls in my house. I just don't like that, you know, to me. That's not, I'm a more of a baby doll collector, baby doll, toddler doll. So once they reach 39 inches, that's the cutoff for me because then their faces start to change. They get too old looking. And even though my son thinks it would be great to have a doll that's taller than him because the 39 inches are like the same as one of my sons, but I, I said, you know, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like their look. Their face gets too thin. I know a lot of people like them, but not for me. Um, favorite size is 34, 35 inch. Uh-oh, your pacifier fell. My Riley, my Shelly, I have Lacey, and I have the Sabrina's those um, type in the full vinyl doll. That's my preference, you know. Sometimes people go, oh, you know, don't get upset if it's not your preference, you know, that I'm saying your 44 inch doll is ugly. No, we all have different tastes. So you may hate the toddlers. You may say, I hate those toddlers. They take up so much room. I always hear that. <laughs> I don't have room for the sitting toddlers. Really, how much room do they take up? I, I always wonder that, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much you know, oh, I have to sit them on something. And I've heard so many stories about that for those that collect the tall. And then there's a lot of people that never try the sitters. And I tell them, you know, if you try the sitters, you'll be hooked. In fact, I was buying this, the all vinyl stand-up. When I got my first sitter, that was it. I bought a couple of other full vinyls, but it was after I got those sitters, especially my Sarah, that I lost out on any desire for the others. I was really afraid. I, I almost went to sell them all because I said to someone, you know, all I really care about are the sitters. But I'm glad I didn't sell them all. They do, they're nice for different types of photographs and I'm a photographer, so I love to take photographs. And so they're great um, props, if you will, or great to put with props and they're fun. So when they make people smile and if people say, oh, you're crazy because you take pictures of a doll, I look, I live on a lake, okay? I take my dolls down to the lake in the summer. If you go to that Facebook group, you'll see. One of them won um, the best photo for, I don't know what it was, the summer, July, something on the Masterpiece website with my Kathy, who's Kylie, was sitting on the dock with her toes in the water. And believe me, I get more than a couple of looks uh, from my neighbors. And you know what, I'm the, I'm the kind right now that 
you know, I used to explain myself or feel that I need to explain myself, like, oh, I'm just taking this or I'm doing this for a site. Because when I first started taking photos, I was actually a dealer, a masterpiece doll dealer. And I really did that in order to order a large quantity of dolls, oh, I shouldn't say this, for myself, okay? And then I sold a few of them. But I had a business license, I could be a dealer, so I became a dealer. I didn't place another order, but I then was privy to the first shipment of dolls when Masterpiece used to debut new collections. They're not doing it anymore. So when they do them, they call them on location. So the owner said, you know, can you take, you want, do you want to take some shots? Because nobody had seen the dolls in person. We were the first people to get them. And I was taking them in the back by the lake and I had one standing up and along comes this rowboat with these two guys that were fishing, older guys. And I'm like, oh my gosh, right? So I'm like, you know what? Hey, I've grown up. I don't need to explain to people what I'm doing. If they don't like me, that's fine. I know I'm a very smart, intelligent woman. I'm a businesswoman. I'm not some Looney Tunes. So have fun, you know, that was my attitude. And I kept clicking away. And one of the, I think it was one of the 29 inch dolls fell backwards and they, they were like right in front of my dock at this point. And I was up on, above the dock and the one guy goes, oh my gosh, you know, is she okay? And I just burst out laughing and I'm like, it's a doll. And I'm like, I'm taking them because they're a debut. Well, would you believe those guys were so interested in the dolls? <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, they're like, oh, they're collector style because they collected antiques. And so you never know. I mean, don't, I'm sure some of my neighbors look at me like I'm a lunatic. I know they do, okay? Um, like, my gosh, what is she doing? But, you know, I don't feel the need to explain myself to anybody because I don't have to. Because I'm totally stable. I know what I'm doing. And, you know, that's it. So have fun. That's my hobby. Guys collect cars and they go to Comic-Con, you know, um, conventions and, oh my gosh, and speaking of that, you guys, my daughter and I, my daughter is my oldest, so we binge watch all this stuff on investigation discovery. My husband's always like, are you plotting my murder? Yeah, okay. So anyway, we watch all this and it was hysterical because there's an investigation discovery conference in New York City and that's where my daughter works my oldest. So I have kids that range from, you know, graduate school level all the way down to second grade. Okay, my kids are spread out. But so anyway, um, yeah, what was I saying? So I said to my daughter's like, oh, I, you know, I might go there. I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be so up her alley. Because one time she went to Walmart and uh, she was with me and she picked up a shovel, duct tape, trash bags, and like some chain. <laughs> And she just put it on the register because that, I don't know if you watch Investigation Discovery, that, and rat poison. And then before the lady got to it, she goes, oh, I've had second thoughts. And she threw it back in the cart and ran with it. But that's the kind of stuff that we do. We're jokers. Um, but we like that kind of stuff, that true crime. I mean, I can watch trials and things. We were watching the thing on Casey Anthony, Jody Arias. Let's don't get me started. Um, but no, I, I like to watch trials. I think... Um, the Jodi Arias trial was so just intriguing. She was nutso, and it's like you wonder how many people are that nutso. You know, it kind of gets, like, my coworkers would be like, well, you know, when you do that, you're going to think everybody's nuts. But, yeah, I mean, there are so many crazy people. Like, I'm taking a walk with my friend, and I go, you see that person pulling out in a pickup truck. That could be like a Dateline NPC thing, like, well, what is he doing? Well, he just, you know, murdered his wife and he hid the evidence, got the body on the back, and she's like, you should just write short stories. And I probably should, because I am a writer. I am a writer, so I probably should take it that way. But I do more web publishing. But there's so many stories that run through my head, so many stories, like that true crime type stories or fictional based on true crime. And maybe when I get a little more time, I will do that, but you know, I have other interests, uh, but I, I love the dolls. To me, they're my collectibles. They make me happy. They make me smile when I see them. And I think it's just because they remind me of having five children at the different stages they were in. It's not that, you know, I'm deranged and, you know, uh, there was a movie, and this, I'm going on and on, this should be a podcast, right? You really should. 
Invisible Child, and I remember watching it with my son, who is now in his 20s, early 20s. And we were watching it. He had to be in first or second grade, and it was with, um, which I can never believe, Tom Hanks' wife, Rita Wilson, and it was a Lifetime movie. It was called Invisible Child. If you have not seen that, you've got to cue that up on YouTube or something. Um, do yourself a favor and watch it, because that is the most bizarre movie. The woman actually 100% believed she had an invisible child. She really did. And she had other children. She had other children in her home. She had a husband. They had a nanny. Um, they were in a very well-to-do house. And one morning she just got up and she was like sterilizing bottles. And everybody played along with it. That was the thing. And it was so real to her that she would go to the back to school nights, you know, to meet the teachers and, and be like, why isn't there anything up? I forget what the girl's name was, you know, by Amy. Where are Amy's drawings? And the husband would be like, oh, don't worry. No, I want to talk to her teacher. And he'd be like, no, 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 let's, you know, not worry about that right now, honey. And then she thought she lost her at an amusement park and she was describing what she was wearing. And she went to the restroom with her and there was this long line and people were looking at her like she was crazy. And they're like, nobody's in there. And she's like, what do you mean no one's in there? That's my daughter in there. And yeah, it, it was nutty. If you have not seen that, you should. But my son and I were laughing. We talk about it till this day, okay? It's like, I just can't even believe, like, Rita Wilson read that script and was like, yeah, I'm going to take this role. I, I, I don't know. I mean, and it was also had the guy from Titanic, the, uh, the architect. Um, he was in it. He was the husband. So yeah, Invisible Child, check it out, Rita Wilson. And I am going to stop and... Thank you for tuning in, and I'm sorry for my big, long rant. I don't know where I've gone on this, and, um, well, thanks, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.